here a program is given and we have to find the output of the program in this program n and m are m are declared as integer variables and 20 is assigned to n and 50 is assigned to m so here n contains variable n contains 20 value 20 and m contains 50 here r is declared as pointer variable which stores which stores address of the integer variable so here address of n is stored in variable r so here r points to the variable n which in turn contains the value 20 here n is n is increased by 5 and the result is stored in variable n so here n will become 20 to 25 here value at the address r will be increased by 5 and the result is stored and the result is pointed by pointer variable r so here 25 will become 30 and r is pointing to the r will be pointing to 30 Here value of m will be stored in variable n. So n value becomes 50. So 30 will be overwritten by value 50. And value of n in the next instruction value of n will become 3. So 50 will be overwritten by 3. And here r is assigned the address of variable m so here r will be pointing to m in the printf statement we are printing the value of n and the value at the address r so here the value of n is 3 and the value at the address r is 50 so 3 comma 50 will be printed so here correct correct option is option D here we have to find the number of final states of a DFA that accepts all the strings which which does not contain the substring ABB over the alphabet A comma B let L be the language that contains all the strings which contain the substring ABB so so DFA accepting L would be this one here M accept the M accepts the strings which contain the substring ABB but in the required language there the strings should not contain the substring ABB so we have to complement the DFA M in order to accept the required language which is L complement so the DFA accepting L complement would be M dash and in order to complement the DFA we have to interchange both final and non-final states we have to make final states as non-final and non-final states as final then the resultant DFA will accept the language will accept the complemented language hence here the number of final states is 1 2 and 3 which is option B here we have to find the number of states of the DFA for the language L which contains the strings whose length is divisible by 3 
over the alphabet 0 comma 1. So the DFA accepting the language L is given as now given as this one. This DFA accepts the strings whose length is divisible by 3. And this DFA contains three states A, B, and C. Hence, the number of states in the required DFA is 3. So, here the correct option is option B. How many useless symbols are there in the following grammar? The grammar is given with productions S20 or 1A or B or C, B20A or lambda. Lambda means here it is epsilon. Epsilon means a string of length 0. A to 1B and C to 1DC, D to 0D1. So here the terminals are small letters 0, 1 and also the lambda these are the terminals. Lambda is a, a symbol which you use for representing the string whose length is 0. Here the variables are S, A, B, C and D. Among these we have to find out useless symbols. So here we have to know what is a useless symbol. If any variable is not used in the derivation of a string, any string, then we can say that that variable is a useless variable. So for that, either directly or indirectly, the variable must derive a terminal string at the same time, it must be obtained from the starting symbol either directly or indirectly. So here if you take a variable c, variable c is not deriving any terminal string. Even if c is replaced with 1dc again, that c will be continued. Even though the c is obtained from the starting symbol directly, c is not deriving any terminal string or indirectly also it is not deriving. That is why C is useless. When you remove one useless symbol, you may get new useless symbols. For example, here S to C will go off. Then all the productions related to C will go off. So that the remaining productions are S to 0 or 1A or B, B to 0A or Epsilon and A to 1B and D to 0D or 1. So here A and B are no problem because A to 1B if you use B as epsilon that is a lambda so that we can get single one and both are obtained from the starting symbol. Here D is deriving a terminal string directly with small one but D is not obtained from the starting symbol. So D is also became useless. There are two useless symbols that is C and D. So option C is the right option here. For sigma is equal to a comma B the transitions of a Turing machine are as follows. Transition of Q0 on B is Q1 B right. Transition of Q1 on B is Q1 B right. Transition of Q1 on blank is Q2 blank right. So Q2 is the final state here. The language accepted by the given Turing machine is. Options are A B star A. Option B is B B B star. Option C is B star. Option D is B B star. So actually sigma is contained A comma B. But here only the transitions are defined with B. That means whenever A is come, it will be halting without a final state. So that Q0 A will halt, Q1 A will halt, Q0 and B is going to Q1 B right. For the first symbol, for the first B it is changing the state. So you are getting a blank space only after at least one B. So Q0 and B also you don't get. Q1 and B it is Q1 B right. You are going to the same state. After at least one B, any number of Bs can be accepted. When Q1 on blank comes, it is going to final state because Q2 is the final state here. Q2 blank right side. So normally with final state, all are the halting transition. So that after one B, it can accept any number of Bs. That is B B star. Any number of A's, if come for example A B, Q0 on A only it will halt. So where Q0 is not a final state, A B will not be accepted. Only Bs will be accepted, but at least after one B, we have to get zero or more Bs after at least one B. So that option D is the right option. So B B star is the correct answer. Please consider the following diagram. What is the modulus of the above counter? If we look at the counter diagram, we are going to know that it is a twisted ring counter or Johnson counter. It is having four stages. Means it is going to have eight. Means for Johnson counter, counter if it is having n stages its modulus is going to be 2n here it is 4 stages hence it is 8 option b is correct